actually expose him. Let me have one. So before I came in the room, let me I'm gonna just do a few, a few different ones. With story, um, it's quite simple. For me, story, I love um, story because we'll get into that later actually. Let me do a callback. When I came into the room here, I um, into this venue, a guy called uh, one of the contestants, I won't call his name, he said, No, I really want to hear you today, but I can't because I'm speaking, so I'm going to miss much of your workshop. And my, that's, a, that's something an emerging speaker would do. But an experienced speaker knows that he needs to be in the room because he can use a callback to call back to information that the audience are connected to. You see, if you're giving a speech and you're out in the corridor and you go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I always know when a speaker's in a context. They just they're like, mm. I'm like, chill out. <laughs> chill, like, the world's not going to end if you don't win. Well, actually, it's easy for me to say that because I've won. <laughs> You say that when you're one, is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> if this speaker was in the room and they called back to my funniest moment, like Nigerians, in his table topic or in his speech, Nigerians, what would happen is there would be an eruption of laughter and they'll gain rapport with the audience because you won't feel like, oh, they've memorized this speech and they've done it a hundred times. <laughs> Do you know? So, Using a callback is sitting in an, a room or an environment and soaking up everything you can so that you can bounce off one speech into another. And that's such a powerful way to start speech. 